Hello everyone and welcome to a really cool announcement. Now, um, a couple of videos back I uploaded a video called Using Power PC Max in 2012. It was part of my Geek Talk series and um, it got mixed reviews. It got really good response from the YouTube audience. Uh, the like to dislike bar ratio was fantastic, loads of great comments, loads of people favorited it. It was uh, generally really good and it went really well just like I wanted it to. There were people sort of saying, well, I agree with most of your points and I can see why you're saying them, but you know, I think this and I'd reply and I'd go, oh cool, yeah, that's a really good point. I've never thought of that, blah, 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 blah. And it was just generally good interaction. Um, but the video was posted on MacRumors forums and the response there was kind of different. Now before I make any further announcements, I'd like everyone to realise, and I'm not um, insulted, uh, I, don't, I don't get insulted, of course guys, look at the colour of my hair, okay? I get, I get people talking about it every single day of my life. So there is no way you guys can insult me and I don't care if you try to. But I'd just like to remind you that it's a complete waste of space if you guys on Mac Rumors want to talk about the colour of my hair and skin when the topic is about PowerPC Max. Okay? If you think I look weird, which you probably do, leave it at that. You don't need to write it down. The topic is PowerPC Max and how usable they are. You can tear into me as much as you like if you think my points I'm making are completely off the wall, but my hair and face shouldn't come into it. It's not about that, is it? It's about PowerPC Max. But anyway, moving on. Um, this video is targeted to all of those people that thought that my video was a little bit unfair. Even if you agreed with what I was saying, um, maybe I came across as a little bit too harsh as far as PowerPC goes. Um, so, it was my fault, basically. Um, the video turned out okay. I'm, I was pleased with the video, and I was glad about the response. Um, but there were, if I could re-record it, which I'm not going to, I'm not a fan of taking down videos if I've made mistakes. Um, if I were to re-record it, I would have worded the whole start of the video a little differently because it was impossible from viewing the video to basically tell what the target audience was. I was all over the place and um, some kind of structure would have been a lot better because then my points would have been organised into places that were relevant. Um, rather than just a load, load of random stuff that, yeah, possibly made sense and, yeah, was possibly true, but didn't relate to the last thing that I'd said, especially as far as usability is concerned with different um, people in different places. Um, not countries, but different people that use their computers in different ways. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, just to see if I'm wrong or just to see if I'm indeed right, is I'm going to do an experiment. Now, it's a little bit of a sacrifice for me um, I'm going to dump quite a lot of money into this experiment, but I think it's really worth it because I want to see, I want to see what it's like. I want to, um, give some evidence to, um, either agree with my video, either to, um, adhere to it or to, um, or to just completely disagree. I can prove that I was wrong. Um, I can prove that I was right and I'll admit to it. And that's a promise. If, I was wrong in my buying Power PC Max in 2012 video, I'll admit to it. But before I do, I'm going to do an experiment. And um, it's a very valid one, because I have come from a little bit of an unfair angle already. Now then, to all of you guys out there on Mac Rumors you, that don't know me, by the way, I'd appreciate if one of my subscribers would post this on that same thread. There'll be a link in the description. Um, if you can post this video there so all those people see it. Um, basically, for those of you guys who don't know me, um, I worked my way up the ladder through the PowerPC machines until I got to the Mac Pro because I got quite a few digs um, about having the Mac Pro. But anyway, I started with a 933 megahertz Quicksilver, worked my way up to a dual processor MDD, and then I stepped up to G5s. So I got my dual 2.5 gigahertz G5, wonderful machine. And then uh, last year, in early 2011, I sold my G5 and made the plunge and I got my Mac Pro for various different reasons, mainly because this camera only talks to Intel machines. Um, why does I get a Mac Pro instead of an iMac? I need the expandability, I need the in-the-box storage, I need the ability to be able to upgrade my graphics card, I need the ability to swap out PCI cards, and if you think why does a 17-year-old need a Mac Pro, I would agree with you. Why would a 17-year-old need a brand new uh, 2010 Mac Pro, which is the latest model, I believe? Um, they don't, they're too powerful. But this is a 2008 machine. It's not really that powerful in comparison to the newer Mac Pros. It's a very powerful machine, but 
new iMax are more powerful than this thing behind me. The new i7 iMax, a lot of them are more powerful than this. But if I would have bought one of them, no one would have had a dig at me. I bought this second hand, it's an older model, and I do a lot of freelance video editing work. So I don't see why it's a problem. But anyway, I am really um, breaking away from the point. What is this big experiment and what's this announcement? Because the title is very uh, woolly, it's hard to see what I'm going to do. Well, basically guys, over the next few weeks, I'm going to try and buy a PowerPC machine. Now, I own PowerPC machines. I've got a G3 down here. I've got an iMac upstairs. I don't use them very much anymore because they're G3s, but, you know, they're great machines. Like I said in the video a million times, I love PowerPC. I, I will never hate on PowerPC because it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. I'm more familiar with PowerPC than I am with Intel because I've tinkered so much more with PowerPC machines in the past. Um, multiple Power Macs. Um, you know, other people's, my Power Macs, all the videos that I did, you know, it's a lot of stuff. Way more than I've done with the Intel stuff. All I've done in here is stick in hard drives and stick in RAM. But anyway, um, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to buy this Power PC machine. Not sure which one yet. It'll be a future announcement and uh, it'll obviously be a decent one. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to upgrade it to a standard where it's, um, you know, things like got enough storage for me, etc, etc. And then... I'm going to ban myself from using my Mac Pro. I will unplug my Mac Pro and put it in the cupboard for seven whole days. Unbelievable, but very fun. Now then, a small disclaimer, I will not be able to ban myself from using my MacBook Pro unless I do this challenge in the holidays. If I can do this across maybe the first or second week of the summer holidays, um, then I can completely ban myself from using all um, all Intel machines, unless it becomes drastic that I take a portable with me because I don't have any PowerPC portable machines. But um, if I do this challenge when I'm in college, I will have to use my MacBook Pro in college because of work, obviously. Um, but everything I do at home, everything from video editing to web browsing to emails to even playing games, whatever the hell I do on my Mac, I don't have a clue what I do, I do tons of stuff. I'm going to do it on the PowerPC Mac and I will make one video a day so there will be seven total videos doing the challenge as well as a load of build up videos showing the Mac I'm going to use, showing the upgrades and just giving you a little bit more information about um, the challenge and the promise that I've made because I want to nail this. I want to nail it. I want to nail the points that I've done. I want to prove to everyone what I meant and um, if I was wrong if I can achieve everything on that PowerPC Mac, then I promise that I will say, wow, in my Geek Talk video, I was wrong. I will do that. I will happily do that. Of course, it's not going to be as quick as my Mac Pro, obviously. I'm not going to mark it down for that. Why would I? I'm not going to make a video saying, yeah, this PowerPC Mac is good because it's compatible with all my software, but it's just not as quick as my Mac Pro. Well, of course it's not going to be. The Mac I'm going to be using is likely anywhere from about 7 to 10 years old. So, of course, it's not going to be as quick. So, I will be fair. I will be as fair as I can. There are going to be fanboys out there that completely say, Oh, you did this and you did that and you should have bought this. But, guys, I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart to um, prove a point. Prove a point that I could be wrong or prove a point that I could be right. And uh, do you know what? It's going to be really fun. So in a nutshell, I'm going to be buying a PowerPC Mac. Um, over the next few months, it'll be a good few months because it's a lot of money that I'll have to put towards it. And of course, um, this is a fun project. So essentials will have to take um, the money priority. But I'll try and build up as much cash as I can. And uh, over the next few months, I'll be upgrading it until the point where I'm ready to perform the challenge. When I am, I'll take the Mac Pro away, I'll unplug it, and the Mac, the PowerPC Mac will go in its place, connected to both of my monitors, because I'm a dual screen kind of guy, and connected to my keyboard, mouse, all my external hard drives, and I'm going to attempt to use it in the exact same way that I use my Mac Pro. And I'm going to make it as fair as possible, and we're going to see what happens. Now, like I said, Speed isn't going to come into it. It's not fair to compare an 8-core Mac Pro to an old Power Mac, for example. Okay, so this should be really, really fun. I'm going to make one video 
every day, you know, seven days, seven videos. I won't get them uploaded that quickly. They'll probably be uploaded over the sort of time frame of about two and a half weeks, but it'll be really, really fun to watch. And um, yeah, I'm gonna announce every day what I'm doing on my Mac. I'm gonna film me doing a little bit of it, even if it's just boring things like typing up a pages document or whatever. Um, and I'm gonna talk about was I able to run the software? Yes, I was. Was the software fully compatible with PowerPC? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Uh, was it stable or was the latest version of the software just terrible for PowerPC or whatever? I will do all of that, guys. I will do my hardest. I'll try my best. And I want to um, put everyone's mind at rest because, like I said, generally the response to the video was good. But... Um, people did make good points. I might have gone a little bit far and of course it's my fault I didn't um, talk about the target audience enough and I'm coming from an angle of someone that hasn't used a PowerPC Mac for their main machine since very early 2011, so practically 2010, which is quite far away now. So thank you very much for watching guys. This is a very exciting announcement. Really looking forward to doing it. And as soon as I get a hold of this PowerPC Mac, I'll be making a ton of videos on it, including upgrades. Like I said, it's gonna be spaced out because of money, but hey, it'll all be up by the end of 2012. So this is my announcement, and more importantly, this is my promise. And to all of you PowerPC people out there that are still using your MDDs with your SSDs and SATA cards and everything, I'm gonna join you guys and see what it's like for you guys, because I fully respect what you do. A few of you guys tore into me and said that I was, you know, about the hair and about why do I need the Mac Pro and everything, but hey guys, everyone's different. And I know you love and respect PowerPC, as do I, but I just, you know, I just want to see. So that's why this is going to be fantastic. So everyone, thank you very much for watching. Um, I really hope I get this PowerPC Mac soon. It'll be so fun.